We're here at ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Mr. Abdul Karim Somalia who is Secretary General of the Africa Telecommunication Union. Mr. Somalia, thank you very much for being with us in the studio it's today. To thank you. Now I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, the, uh, the challenges uh, in Africa's broadband construction. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that. Yes, thank you for uh, giving, me, giving me this opportunity to speak about the African ICT globally and particularly on the issue of broadband. Because I know most of people are focusing on the broadband issue, but I think before to go to the broadband, we have to look on the past and say that what we as African we are doing, where we achieve. So I think the achievement is it's, it's very important to, and now we can construct the future. So when you look on the past, you do understand that ICT was very, very low in Africa. But today, at least we can say that we're very happy. Most of the African countries, most African population, I think they can enjoy the ICT uh, 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 benefit. But however, we have a very big challenge regarding the, uh, the broadband, because most of our African countries, they are now uh, on 3G is now the starting giving license on 4G. So this is, I think, the big challenge is there. But however, I think, we know there is two kind of the speed of some area is not the, the same on the speed. You have the place where today in Africa we don't, even we don't have again communication. Mobile is not there. So I think it's best way for Africa first to be sure that the co connectivity first is there anywhere affordability should be there so i think this is now the challenge of the broadband i think it's not big challenge because most of broadband it's where it's in the big cities and i think telecom operator and also of the, our political issue we try to push our telecom operator and most country now they give them the license to do 4g but 3g i think mostly is now gone it's underground, but the 4G, it's a big issue because sometimes you, we as political, we are ready to give them the license for 4G, but sometimes telecom operators are not, are not ready because probably some market is not in cities for them to go on 4G right now. So this is a big challenge. So I think the challenge for us is just to be sure that we are open in terms of the investment, in terms to create environment to give the partner the way to come and implement the 4G in Africa. And the second, we as African telecommunication, you know, we are working on the regulation issue, especially on the availability of spectrum. So we, be, we want to be sure that at least the spectrum is available for the telecom operator to deploy the network. I was going to ask you, what are the broadband policies or, or regulations that you would suggest to encourage investment in, in, in Africa's broadband uh, penetration? I think uh, for me the best uh, uh, policy is just to the negotiation. The negotiation of the telecom operator who is already in place. And I believe that I see many countries today, they are not auctioning it completely, but they open discussion, bilateral discussion with the telecom operator in place and discuss and tell them how much do you want to take and most country go on this way which i think is the best way to to, to discuss because it's no need to say that you need a new telecom operator to come and to do only 4g in your country so this is a bilateral discussion with telecom and we encourage member state to do so like that with the telecom operator already have license what about cross-industrial collaboration? What's uh, your, in, in, for network construction particularly, or in, what's, your, what's your opinion on that? I think, you know, today, uh, when you look at ICT, ICT is uh, mostly stakeholder. So we as state, we cannot do only, say that we will do ICT. The ICT need industry. So I think for us, as you said, the PP uh, political should be the best one. So there is no way we will not partner with, people, with our PP, with investment, investor to come and say that we want to do so. We encourage member state to do PP 
uh, some I know they already try to do their best to even to, to build their own network and now certainly to going to manage it with telecom operator, which I think is not bad. Now you're not a stranger to ITU events. I wanted to find out from you what's the value of attending an event such as ITU Telecom World? Do you know the uh, all the events in French people say that even when you travel you learn. So the event like ITU Telecom as you see for example people come today in Korea where I think that is the basement of the development of ICT. So at least you learn many things in terms of application. It's not because we put uh, the fiber underground in Africa, but, but what we need is application. What we need is innovation. So I think when you come here, at least you learn some kind of innovation. In Africa, we speak mostly smart city, smart village. So when we come here, at least you see how probably you can go there and put underground your smart city or your smart village. And in terms of investment, do you think there have been some good conversations here with regards to all the, the different pavilions here, etc., mm -hmm. and talking to our new partners, etc.? Investment, I'm not to uh, be sure 100, but changing, learning, it's okay. But investment probably, it's not too much because I didn't see too much investor here. T big uh, company of telecommunication industry, I mean. I didn't see them here too much, but however, in terms of changing, in terms of learning, I think it's, it's, it's always a platform for us to come and change what's the other world. What's your key message? This message is going beyond these walls to our, our international audience. What's your key message to participants here and the wider audience as well? I think my, 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 my last word is certainly to say that whether we can try to see how we can improve IT Telecom because when you look IT Telecom on the 10 year past, it's a really an industry and a political uh, 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 event. But today we try to learn it's become only political uh, 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 platform, which I think we engage ITU to go back again to be sure that industry is there because we have to have those partners here. Mr. Abdul Karim Somalia, thank you very much indeed for being with us today and uh, we wish you the very best of luck in the future. Thank you. I also thank you, thank you very for much. me giving the opportunity to speak.